form of the Radio City Rocket. Yes, their first production of the Radio City Christmas Spectacular has become a holiday tradition now. And here's the good news. Despite the flooding last spring, the Rockets are going to be back again. And we're getting a preview right here, right now. Alina Williams and Laura Donelsky joining us. Um, welcome to, to Knoxville. Thank, Thank you. You. <laughs> you guys have been literally cruising all over the state, hitting about three cities in a day. Pretty much, yes. We're, we're hitting a lot of places. Um, just to talk about the fact that we will be back at the Grand Old Opry. The flood will be cleaned up and everything will be back in order. And we actually open November 19th. Very cool. All right, now how exciting is it to, to be a Rockette? Oh my goodness, it's every little girl's dream. Yeah. <laughs> it's the most exciting thing in the world. I think me and Laura both would say that. I mean, do you really have memories of being seven, eight years old, the first time seeing the Rockettes? Yes, I actually, I of course watched the Rockettes on the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade every year. And then I actually went to the music hall when I was about 13. And when the audience cleared out, I snuck up on stage and got a picture. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. And, and we're looking a little bit at the Christmas Spectacular. This is, and we've been up there to do road shows there but it, it really is something special for the family, right? Fun performing in this. Absolutely. Huh? It's a holiday tradition. The show's been around since 1933, and we still perform two of the original numbers in the show today, The Parade of the Wooden Soldiers and The Living Nativity. And you guys make this look easy, but for those at home, give an idea. One, the costumes are heavy. You've got girls different height, a lot of females all trying to kick in unison. Talk about the, the challenges and what it takes to put that show on. Well, you're right. It is very challenging. Um, um, every year thousands of women audition to be Rockettes and the handful that do make it rehearse for six hours a day, six days a week Ooh. for about a month leading up to the show. And then we'll travel to the Grand Old Opry and rehearse right on stage with dress rehearsals and tech. And then once we open, we perform up to four shows a day. How many kicks is that? We do about 300 kicks a show, so on a four show oh, day. Are you serious? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Serious? It's dead serious. And at the Opry House, we're performing over 50 shows this year. Well, we got to see some of these kicks. We won't make you do 400 or however many in a show. Okay. But Would you like to kick with us? Oh, we yes. can. Get in there, okay. Beth. Right. <laughs> I'm always the, the shortest one. I'd have to be on the end. That's okay. I am. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with the left bevel. Okay. We'll step on our left foot and kick your right. Hey! Perfect. Come on, Ross. <laughs> Let's do four more. I had to do the hog calling, Ross. Come on. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> the producer ran just said to speed it up. Do you want to try it again? I don't know. We'll see. Right. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One. <laughs> Good. Good thing I wore heel days today. I'd really be short. <laughs> How many of these do you have to do? We do over 300 for sure. Those are just, yeah, we've only yeah. got, what, 250 more to go. But thank you guys so <laughs> and much. We didn't for get to the eye high kicks yet. Oh, can yeah, you show those to us? I'm Actually, we're not warmed up. Oh, yet, they're so. not warmed up. We don't want you to pull anything. We don't want you to injure anything. Maybe Russell can do the, what yeah. do we Russell call Russell can demonstrate the eye yeah, high kicks. Yeah, we can do that later. The eye high There <laughs> it is. Go check it out. We've seen it and can tell you it is fantastic. Coming up next, we're going to preview not one, but two great events coming up in Gatlinburg, including the Taste of Autumn. But first, here's what Ken Schwal is